Well, school is almost out, and for many kids, that means it's time for camp. Now, some local girls are learning to build more than just friendships this summer. Here to tell us about the fifth annual Mentoring a Girl in Construction Camp is Kearney High School teacher Jessica Fritchell. Now, tell us a little bit about this camp. Now, girls in construction, like actually with hammers, nailing, the whole bit. Absolutely. Never underestimate a teenage girl in a pink hard hat. <laughs> and we have one right there. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about the camp. Well, this is a week-long camp that's hosted by the San Diego chapter of NAWIC, which is no, the National Association of Women in Construction. And the true magic of it is that they bring together over 80 names in the construction industry, both union and non-union, to come together to provide this week-long opportunity mm -hmm. for the girls to learn marketable skills like tile setting, plumbing, electrical, sheet metal, even operating heavy equipment, which is their favorite day, of wow. course. Wow. So why is this so important to get girls involved in this camp? It's empowering them. It's opening their eyes to a variety of lucrative careers that they didn't know were available to them. And there's a lot of industries out there that are looking for these ladies to join their team. What do you see when these girls go out? Do you see them, you know, like, oh, this is too hard? Or is this actually something that they're really interested in doing? What's, what's the overall sentiment? A little of both. You know, some of them come out to the camp just based on, you know, curiosity and not knowing else, what else to do with their summer. But, you know, my favorite part, I'm a teacher at Kearney High Construction Tech Academy, and I'm the English teacher. So I might <laughs> see a girl who sat in the back of my class and who was apprehensive about participating be the first one to volunteer to use the power tools. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah. So um, now, as long as the week, the week long, you said, um, you know, going out, doing some basic stuff, and then getting to do the heavy machinery. Um, so how do people get involved in this, and then what is the training like up until that point for that week? Well, any industry members can get involved. We have over 105 volunteers that participate the entire week, standing elbow to elbow with these girls, mentoring through the, them through the process, teaching them about the tools and helping them to build their final project, which they will showcase on Friday at the graduation. What is the project? The project this year is a storage shed for the junior ROTC program. And that's fun, you know, actually to uh, see something that you created and, and come to fruition, that can't be a bad thing at all. Absolutely. So that is that's empowering. their legacy. That's very cool. So then what do they do with the sheds? The sheds can actually be moved, and so wherever they're needed, we will build so them. So they keep them. Got yes. it. Okay, cool. And they all wear the pink hats. They do. It's and not it says, hard to spot them. Yeah. <laughs> it says tomboy tools on there, too. Very cool. So how did you get involved in this? Because as an English teacher, you started out doing what, and, and how did your involvement well, even happen? There's a minority of girls at the academy, and it really seemed as there was a need for some sort of sisterhood, um, nurturing that collaboration. So I sat down with NAWIC and SDSU, and we've created a mentorship program. Were you a tomboy at heart? I think Growing so, up? Yeah. yeah. I've Yeah, I've definitely found that I enjoy the nail gun and the circular saw. <laughs> <laughs> those are your two favorites, yeah. the nail gun and circular saw. Well, I have to get my hands on some of those. Um, so tell us one more time just about the camp, how people can get involved, and where to go to get all the information. Well, hopefully you have a website, but you can go to the San Diego chapter of NAWIC. You can contact Linda Young, and you can participate in a variety of ways. You can donate money, materials, time, and all of those are extremely valuable, and the girls will remember forever. Oh, how fun and exciting. All right, so it um, sounds like it's exhilarating and definitely something that would build self-confidence. So Absolutely. Very, very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you. We appreciate it.